In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can extrude faces from T-spline meshes in the form workspace in Fusion 360. To get to the form workspace, click on the purple create form icon. First, let's create a plane. I'll click on the ground plane, click on the origin and drag out. I'll select new body and press OK. This only has four faces. How can I make more faces? I can right click, edit form, and if I move the faces around, it moves them. But if I hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, and then I drag, it creates a new face. I can drag again, holding the Alt or Option key in Fusion 360, and it creates new faces on the T-spline. I can Shift-click multiple faces and extrude. I can rotate these faces and then extrude again. I also can extrude single edges. So if I select this edge, hold Alt or Option, I can drag out an edge. Be careful when you're extruding edges because you can accidentally go the wrong way. For example, if I grab this direction and I extrude, it looks like I'm extruding and making faces, but really I'm going in a flat plane direction. So you can make mistakes very easily. Once again, if I extrude this way, it looks like I'm making faces, and I technically am, but they are all in a single plane. So if that happens to you, you can simply move your faces around and then they will go into a curve. So this is a great way to make extrusions on T-spines in Fusion 360. Let's take a look at another example. This time I'm going to create a box, and once again, it only has two faces on each side. Before I extrude anything, I'm going to click on Symmetry and make a symmetry around the shape. Symmetry is great in Fusion 360 because if I edit the form, it moves both sides at the same time. Now watch the difference. If I extrude with Symmetry on, it extrudes both ways and then points come out. But watch what happens if I select both faces. Now it'll extrude it as one shape then I can select one of the sides and extrude, and then it makes two forms that come out of the T-spline in Fusion 360. So make sure when you have symmetry on, you are paying attention to how that extrusion works. This is really great for adding details around forms. For example, on the back of this cube, I could click all four of these pieces, then I could scale in a bit, and then begin extruding, and it leaves this extra ring around the structure. And then I can extrude one more time to leave a ring or two right on the end and keep it nice and square. So extruding on T-splines in Fusion 360 is a very fast way to create geometry and add to your form models. Hopefully you can use the extrusion on T-splines to make interesting forms in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.